You know, I think one of the things that this movie had me pondering um, that I that I just think is a kind of world ponderance is why we insist on thinking that we can evaluate the truth of a person from a distance. I think that's, that's stayed with me. The Wi-Fi isn't working. Get a pad. I'm so sorry to bother you that this is our house. This is your house? When I read the book, it was, you know, sort of the early days of the pandemic. And um, and there was something prescient about the book, obviously, because he had written it before the pandemic. Um, but this, this notion that you sort of, how easily people can lose their common humanity in the face of crisis. And that was obviously being played out in the world uh, 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 around COVID. But as relevant as that was back then, it's sort of equally relevant today. And that's why I think Ramon sort of touched a nerve about how people navigate modern society. So that, that, that was just, to me, all great, like sort of rich foundation for, for a disaster film. And then he called me and sent me the book. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how it all took off. And what did you think when he sent you the book? <laughs> You were offended. I was offended at first. <laughs> I was like, why do you want me to play her? Uh, but I mean, it was really s scary. And I definitely, I, I think because it, we were still within the pandemic and we were still sort of locked down and there were all these unnameable fears, it, it felt extremely creepy to me and also very interesting as an artist to examine in a creative way all these really strong dramatic feelings that we were all experiencing during the pandemic. So that to me was really thought provoking. I think so highly of Sam. He's made such beautiful work. So to have his attention is very surprising that he is able to assemble this team of actors. They're all so good at what they do. So to have this team who are so good at what they do, taking care of your work, which is your, it's not even that it's your baby, it's a different, it's, it's so meaningful to me, that work. But to have it in those hands that I trust, I mean, what could be better? Julia, one last question for you. What did you learn from Amanda? Oh, I... I mean, that there's good in everybody, of course, you know, and, and none of it, none of the things that make us less than good, true people is out of vapor. You know, it comes from something. It comes from some kind of fears, some kind of confusion, some kind of anger that that is there for a reason. And it's how to just see that and work through it to try to get to the other side and be a better human on the planet. Um, so I think I, I had an empathy for her plight. I would say I want them to get that. Um, uh, my favorite movie going experiences are when you leave the theater and you desperately need to talk to your friends about it. And then you go to a coffee shop and you spend hours debating on what it all meant, what your interpretation was. You start hearing other interpretations and it just starts to create this conversation um, that can be exciting, it can be illuminating, but that to me is, is I wouldn't dare say that I want them uh, to specifically interpret the film in any one way. It, for me, I think uh, what was beautiful about the book's ending and what I tried to retain in the film was, uh, was this sort of open-endedness to it, where it sparks conversation and gets people talking. I think one thing to say about this movie that is very important and maybe overlooked in some of the conversation about it is that it's funny. I think it's like a very funny movie. There's a lot of like, it's not funny in the way that maybe we're used to hearing that word, but I love that aspect of it. I think it's a very important part of the movie. And I also think that it is, uh, what, I, I'm not even sure what the word this would, but it, it's immersive, maybe that's the word, because it pulls you in and it holds you so close that you almost don't realize that those two plus hours have gone by. Cine, música, series, libros, teatro, artes plásticas, gastronomía, todo el mundo de la cultura y el entretenimiento aquí en El Tiempo. Suscríbase al canal de YouTube del Tiempo 
tiempo, que además es gratis, y le mandamos notificaciones de nuevos videos.